questions. All right, chat. We got another video for y'all boys today, right? We got another UDY video, bro. And y'all know what those consist of. Catching the thooters. Cheating on they mans. And I say they mans because you know they got a side and some more shit. <laughs> Everybody knows, bro. If you a smart individual, you know, bro. You know, bro. But yeah, I love these, bro. Super entertaining. I can give some commentary on it, bro. Yeah, I like these type of videos. And I really don't have that much to say. So without further ado, let's get into it, y'all boys. Today we're helping David place his girlfriend Yasmin to a loyalty test. Everything going? Damn. This plan so far? Yeah. The girls still coming over to drop off the Yeezys and stuff? Yeah, I had uh, texted her this morning and she said that we're still good. Okay. But I can text her one more time though to make sure. Cool. Yeah, we'll give her a call right now if anything. Okay. Our decoy Juma will pretend to be rich. He's gonna flirt with Yasmin and ask her on a date. If she's loyal, she's loyal. But I'm gonna test her. I'm gonna do my best. Any last minute regrets? No, I think it'll be worth it for all of this. Pass or fail? Pass or fail. Yeah. Oh, I think she's here. She's here. Will Yasmin remain loyal to her boyfriend, or will she agree to cheat on him by going on a date with our rich and successful decoy? Ooh. David wanted to place his girlfriend to the test because like many of us, he's had some past drama. I had a girlfriend who um, went on a girl's trip, or so girl's trip. Uh -huh. No, no, bro, uh-uh, no, bro, no, no, no. Boy, you better take that you insecure. Otherwise, you, oh, boy, you better take the insecurity card. Otherwise, they gonna be beat your girl's cheeks down. She ain't finna have no walls when she return. I'm not lying. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm insecure. And that's why you're not going. <laughs> what? Y'all be mad as hell. She called me insecure. So I'm gonna let, okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> Mr. Security ain't finna be secure after that. I'm not lying. Listen to bro. <laughs> nah, bro. I ain't going for none of that, bro. Nah, hell nah. And um, she got so drunk on that girl's trip that she didn't even realize that she had posted herself with another man. So Wow. Yeah, girl's trip. <laughs> what was the content of the photo? Just like next to him or like? Uh, it was a, actually a Snapchat recording. They were she's dancing on him. Wow! She's dancing on him, all over him, kissing him. Oh, wow! We're living together, so I waited for her to get home to see everything packed up. Oh, Yep, so that's what happened to that. So with Yasmin, I don't want to base it the same thing as saying that she's the same as my ex, but you never know. Here, especially being here in California, right. I feel like it's a whole different dating lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So You said you're originally from Utah? Correct. I don't blame David for wanting to pull this test. I mean, his girlfriend's from Utah cheated on him. Now, I know some of you might think he's insecure, but pause and analyze for a second here. Being insecure. Let me tell you something, right? And this offends everybody when I talk about it. And I'm going to say it anyways, because the truth is the truth, bro. Women are the only people that have insecurity. I'm just going to keep it real with you, bro. A man might not be super confident about something, but just general insecurity, bro. Women are nine times more likely to have insecurity than a man. Let's just face it, bro. Basic reality. Women will not come out of the house unless they put 20 pounds of concealer on their face first. I'm just going to keep it real. That's the facts, bro. That's the facts, bro. You can say whatever you want. You can say it's for hurting. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not, bro. But that's the facts, bro. A man will come outside the house, not taking a shower or whatever. But a woman, she take two hours to get ready. She put all that shit all over her face. You lying to me, bro. That's crazy. Cure means that you got some sort of doubt within yourself. But when your guard is up, it's because you don't trust others. This man probably wholeheartedly trusted his girl back in Utah, and she went out, got drunk. And Bro, I don't trust no girl that want to say, can I go on a girl? No. <laughs> no, bro. No. Let me tell you something, right? When you've been the side guy, bro, or you've been the sneaky link, and she was telling her boyfriend, don't worry about him. He's a friend. 
Reverse the roles, bro. You know how it goes, bro. You will never, ever trust a woman ever again if you've ever been that side guy. I'm just going to keep it real with you. You see some devious shit, bro. And I'm not going to speak on it, and I don't want to say no names or any of that shit. But let me just tell you, bro, you will never, ever trust a girl the same, bro, once you've been that side guy. Posted herself cheap. If that were to happen to me, yeah, best believe I am not trusting a girl so quickly. Now is bro, what do you mean? It's not supposed to happen to you because you're supposed to veto that. <laughs> no. And guess what? If she says, I'm going to go anyways, congratulations, you're single. You're single, bro. You better take the insecurity card over being, yeah, he's a real man. He let. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm insecure, bro. Think about it like this, right? Imagine you pull some bad shit. I'm talking about at eight or nine, right? And she like, I want to go on a girl's trip. Bro, you know how hard I had to work to get your ass on, on this side? And you think, yo, what? Bitch, no. <laughs> That's not happening, bro. What? That is crazy. Is it fair to say that Yasmin is a cheater too? No, but I think it's fair to be cautious. The world is crazy these days, guys. The devil's in the works. The issue ain't you, Fact. it's others. Or I guess it could be you if you're the cheater. <laughs> I saw how that can trigger you and everything, seeing that, you know, in your previous relationship, you had a couple of issues that are similar. But, you know, I hope your girl is loyal as she can be, but we're gonna do our best to test that out. Getting cheated on and then she posted it, that means everyone saw it. Like his oh, friends, true. his family, like he got cheated on, cheated on. So I hope she passes. I don't trust those girl He trips. deserves like, um, yeah. No, I told you, bro. I told you, smart man gonna be like, nah, bro. Why you wanna go on a girl's trip? We could go on a trip together, bro. Where it's me and you, bro. We not go in the club. Nah, no, I'm not bringing my girl to the other fucking environment, bro. You know what clubs were designed for? You think I'm slow? No, bro. I ain't going for none of that shit, bro. Fuck no. In order to pull this test, we have to get Yasmin to this house. So yesterday we gave David some brand new Yeezys courtesy of the cop collection. Taking all four? Yep, all four. How much did he tell her that these are worth? About fifteen hundred dollars, so it makes it seem like he's getting a good deal. Realistically, <laughs> they're probably closer to about twenty five hundred. Yeah, David had to convince Yasmin to drop these off to a Juma. He would tell her that he's supposedly getting into the shoe business. Let's just make sure that she's still coming over. After his Utah breakup, David decided to move to California for a fresh start. You know, live his villain arc. During his time here, he got into rugby and being a stuntsman. Yasmin believes that he's about to head to the gym for a four-hour stunts class. Hello? Hey, babe. Uh, I was just calling to make sure that you were still able to help me out and jump off the shoes today. Um, yeah, why? Oh, no, just wondering, because uh, the guy behind them, he had uh, texted me saying if I was still going to come on, come through later on, and so I was just making sure. Okay, yeah, no, I'm good. Okay, perfect. Like I said, I told him 1500 but if he tries to talk you down and negotiate, only go as low as 1300 Don't go any lower than that. Okay. And uh, I'm going to give him your number. He'll text you in like the next hour or so. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Bye. And so with that, Ajuma began communicating with Yasmin. How far are you comfortable with Ajuma going? I don't know. I feel a loyal girl would, she'll, know, she'll sense the signs and kind of just back off from the whole situation in general. So, right. like, what's Fresh. your boundary? Is it going to like physical touch or? Overly friendly, like what would it be? I say all of the above. You know, Facts. Physical touch, agreeing to go on a date. I, yeah. I consider that a fail. All yeah. of that, I was lucky bro. I'm not the decoy today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he's saying he would for sure have her in the bag. That's what he's saying. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's, if he can secure her, then by all means, take her. Take her. Take her. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't worth being had. If she, exactly. Right? After making sure everything was set up and ready to go, going over the game plan one last time and confirming that Yasmin was on the way, everyone eventually got into their positions. Okay. If she does end up giving our decoy her number and she agrees to go on a date with him, would you want to keep the test going? I think that'd be enough. That's enough for me to be like, okay, red flag, I'm out of here. Now, alternatively, if she passes the test, would you come clean? Have you thought about that yet? No, I haven't thought about that yet. <laughs> I've actually been thinking about that this whole time. I don't know, I'll probably... Oh, you, you, the good thing is you still got time to think about it. Yeah, And okay. depending on how she does, you can decide that. Gotcha. Ajuma eventually receives a text that Yasmin is nearby. So as planned, he pretends to jump on a phone call. Oh, okay, he's pretending to jump on a phone call. She might be getting here any minute. Oh, no, bro, like, I really feel like she's probably gonna fail. I'm gonna be real with you. Tall, dark, handsome, she gonna fold, bro. Even girls that <laughs> are loyal, if you get the right person to kind of slide in there, it's so, gonna happen. So you're That's what I'm saying, bro.
It's just your turn, bro. It's just your turn, bro. I'm just keeping it real. Telling me that no one. If Drake hit up your girl and start trying to talk that God's plan family map, your girl's took, bro. She's took. For the loyal. But you know how LA is, bro. People out here are just very superficial. Speaking of superficial, True. who do you think the best decoy is? Be real. Like, you, like, be real. Antonio? You really think Antonio's better? Yeah. I'm the Wizard of Oz, bro. It is what it is. I'm shaking. <laughs> You're shaking? I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, no. Any last minute regrets? No, I think it'll be worth it at the end of all of this. Pass or fail? Pass or fail. Hey, Yasmin, right? Yeah. Oh, I think she's here. She's here. Let me call Violet. Violet! Who's Violet? Give her a second, okay? Violet! Wait, does Violet really not hear him? <laughs> Violet doesn't hear her. Angela tries hard to get Violet's attention, and since she couldn't hear him yelling her name, he decided to whisper it. Violet. <laughs> this man whispers, Violet. Violet! She's coming, she'll be right there. On the real though, Violet almost ruined our plan. She wasn't paying attention. She was too busy swiping right on Tinder or something. Sorry, I'm getting here now. How are you? Do you need help carrying anything? Yeah, sure, that'd be good. Yeah, I need help. Despite her minor setback, things were back on track. Yasmin had arrived with the Yeezys. Now, we wanted Violet being the one to greet and retrieve Yasmin because we wanted Yasmin to feel comfortable. I mean, she was here to simply do a sneaker deal, but we were going to have a Juma hit on her. So like our previous videos, we had to break down that professionalism layer by layer. Violet was breaking down the first layer. How was okay. your drive here? Not bad. Where'd you drive from? Palm Beach. Oh, okay, not too far, not too far. A little bit of traffic, but not bad. So we're gonna give Violet probably like a good like five minutes just to break the ice with Yasmin, make her a little bit comfortable, and then we're gonna send in a Juno. Yeah, I've done reselling. I've done like deep pop, like type of stuff. It's fun. So close. Yeah. I could buy like vintage stuff. Like these are thrifted. These are like thrifted. This is thrifted. Yeah, him and I both love like fashion, so that's so cool. Yes. Other than almost missing her cue, Violet executed her role flawlessly. She pretended to be Ajuma's roommate and began making Yasmin comfortable. After some time, I finally texted Ajuma that he was good to make his entrance. I'm sure he's gonna love these. He loves these. So I saw you carrying off like, uh. All right, this is it. This is it. Here we go. Sorry about that. I had a call. <laughs> how you doing? Yes, how are you? Juma. Yasmin. Nice to meet you, Yasmin. So these are the shoes. Yep. All right, let's see. Let's check them out. See if they legit. Okay. Here's a side note, bro. I used to have some Yeezy slides and I had some Yeezys. I can't remember which ones they were. I think they were the clouds or something, bro. And they came in those same boxes. And I don't know what it is, bro, but those boxes are a bitch, bro. Like trying to open that shit, bro. It's a bit. Oh, this is nice. What are they? Are they the slides? All right. It's your first time selling the shoes? Yeah, I'm just doing it my boyfriend oh really you oh don't those do this are the slides uh, wait hold up those are the exact slides i had i think yeah those are the exact slides i had they're really uncomfortable until you break them in once you break them in they're awesome but until you break them in bro it's like wearing leather shoes that shit's a bitch he's real or not you gotta you gotta Oh, okay, your girlfriend, he sent his girlfriend here, pretty, sell me some shoes. Ooh. I don't know, I don't know. What do you think about it? They look nice? I don't know, they look nice. They look nice? They look like they match your fit. They do match my fit. I do like That's that. Bad. I do like that. Okay. I'm going to have my boy just come over here and check them out real quick, just to see if they're legit, because okay. I've been sold some fake Nikes, Jordans. You wouldn't do that to me, though. No, never. Right? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You want anything to drink or anything? Wait, where's my hat? Oh, yeah. chill. You sure? Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay. I gotta I keep the cap, bro. It's gonna be like bro. 10 minutes or something gotta like that. Gotta keep the cap. Okay, that's fine. You cool hanging out? Yeah. Chilling? Okay, cool. Because Ajuma has never bought anything from Yasmin or her boyfriend, he supposedly had to call up some friends to come authenticate the shoes. With her job now done, Violet pretends to go to her room. Do you want to check out the other shoes? Uh, well, we're gonna see if these are legit first, <laughs> okay. you know what I'm saying, before we move on to the other shoes. But yeah, they're gonna come through about like 10 minutes. Feel free to just get some water. We got some snacks here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You want to come over and kick it? Yeah. I don't know how realistic that was, Dan. 
I wish Ajuma had checked out the other shoes to make this more believable. Yasmin did call him out on it, but it didn't seem to make her suspicious of anything. So your boyfriend got you into the selling shoes business? Just for today. Just, Just for today? today? Yeah. It might be a good deal, you know? It might be a long-lasting relationship, <laughs> you know? If it all goes well, everything goes well. So what do you do? Okay, so right here, Ajuma's just making small talk with her, breaking the second layer of the ice right here. Yeah. The plan was to give Ajuma 10 minutes to make small talk with Yasmin and begin subtly flirting with her. How long y'all two been together? Like six months. Six months? Oh, so it's pretty new. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. You know, your boyfriend don't be scared of you, like, getting mugged, carrying all those expensive shoes? I guess not. Guess not? <laughs> nuh uh that is not okay. <laughs> Straight here, so it was straight here. Yeah. Oh, so you don't live too far away from here? Not too far, like 30 minutes. Too bad. I don't know. I feel like you know, a girl as pretty as you should be living a soft life. <laughs> Me personally, I wouldn't have you carrying that many shoes. Thank you for bringing them, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, he gaming it up right now. I can tell. I mean, when you got zero Riz, of course you're gonna notice the little Riz that someone else has. Bro, I know Riz when I see it. If you had Antonio's Riz, we're gonna loyalty test this guy with Antonio, and I think he's gonna fold. I think he's gonna fold for Antonio, that's all I'm gonna say. The comment section knows hashtag Team Antonio for reals. You like the beach? I love the beach. Love the beach, okay, see. Uh, me too, I love the water. It's just very relaxing, you know? Just real close by. We could take a walk together, you know, see what the beach looks like. You know, celebrate your win after selling all those Yeezys. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and like I said, you're a pretty girl next to the beach. That just sounds perfect to me. Mm -hmm. Do you usually go inside the water? Well, no, I don't like to go inside the water, you know. I'd rather just watch. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't remember if I said it to my pops or I said it on one of my reactions, bro. But black people don't like the water, bro. It offended so many people because they try to make a white joke or some shit. There was some person that tried to make a white joke about it, bro. I still have some, you know, black friends or whatever, or black people that I associate with, and they don't like the water. I'm just going off personal experience, bro. They don't like the fucking water. You go inside the water, you know, experience it. Me just look, you know, because the water be cold. So. <laughs> Kyle, Nathan, Kyle and Nathan, you guys are going to make your entrance over. Let's go, team. Let's go. Y'all really pretty hands, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ajuma did good. He didn't overdo the flirting, but he let her know that he was interested in her. Kyle and Nathan will not pretend to be Ajuma's friends coming in to authenticate the shoes. Love a girl with her nails done. I love a girl with her nails done. <laughs> Come in, come What's in. Good, What's bro? going on, brother? How's it been, bro? No, oh, just chilling, baby. Chilling. What new you got now? <laughs> you Kyle, know. Kyle. Bro, you always know, nice hit us up at the wrong time. Who's on our way to lunch right now, bro? My bad, my bad. I just want to get the shoes, you know, just check out real quick. What shoes you guys got? Got me some Yeezys, man. All types. Boost, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Slides. Now, Kyle and Nathan will also be breaking the third layer of the ice, which is to let Yasmin know exactly how rich Ajuma really is. These are the ones right here? Yeah, these are the ones. Check them out, man. Okay, They look okay. legit, though, from what I can tell. But, you know. Here we go. Ooh, those is nice. Oh, these look fire. Those huh? is nice. Check for the little stamp on there real quick. I just got to make, sure, make sure they're real and all, because this is her it's first time selling yeah. some shoes. First time. This first time selling shoes? Yeah. What made you get into the shoe game? My boyfriend does it. Oh, your boyfriend? Oh, nice. He has you running all the errands today, huh? That's what I said. You understand you what I'm you saying? You running the errands? Carrying these heavy boxes. Damn. Are you getting a cut out of this? You better. some gas money? Oh, no. Nah, nah. Hell no. Uh, oh, my goodness. To be fair, they're not even in shoes, though. <laughs> It's okay, we'll give you a hundred bucks to give her. <laughs> if she passes. If, if she, she passes. passes. Oh, sh look at this. <laughs> the MX is, huh? Dude, you know how much these are gonna look good with my watch, boy. I'll tell you, that's gonna look good with my watch. There is a pivotal point in each test where you go from thinking there's a 90% chance of a pass to a 50% chance. In this test, this was that point. Damn, bro, this, this is good. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah, it I mean, looks doing legit. Good, yeah, it looks really legit. You can tell Yasmin is super comfortable and our team has made this scenario believable. And while this is good news for us because we did our job, it might not be such good news for David. Yasmin being extra yeah. comfortable could make Ajuma's job that much easier. We yep. could potentially be inching closer and closer to a fail.
Now, I don't know if these guys had any idea of what they were doing or if their methods of authentication were even legit. <laughs> the good thing is these guys at least came off legit and I'm pretty sure Yasmin had no idea what they were doing either. Do you have your laptop with you? I left it in the car, bro. Okay, can you make sure you, we got pictures of all the stickers so we can go check out the serial numbers in the car? Yes, here? please, make sure they're all good, you know? I trust you, I trust you, trust me. <laughs> can you get pictures on the boxes over there? Yeah. Nathan and Kyle will make their exit by supposedly running the serial numbers on the shoes. Remember though, they can't leave without showing Yasmin exactly how rich a Juma really is. How that new Rolex you got last week? You wanna check out the Rolex? Yes, we're gonna check out the Rolex. All right, man, Sheesh. Before making their exit, Kyle and Nathan will check out a Juma's Rolex collection. They of course bring Yasmin along as collateral. Check them out. Mm-hmm. So you've been making some extra money, huh? I Just see you a out little here. bit. Oh God, you've been splurging, bro. You know I like to splurge myself. You've been splurging myself. a little bit. Like, like, Do you know how much these cost right here? I don't. This one, this one's almost 100 grand by itself. That's a cheap one, though. 100 grand, that's a little cheap one. <laughs> sure. But okay, get them shoes. We just gotta put them all in the system and check the serial numbers. Okay, you don't mind chilling, just waiting a little bit, right? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, cool. We'll, cool. Be, back. we'll be right back and let it hit you up soon. All right, appreciate it. It was a pleasure meeting you, by the way. Very nice. Meeting. Meeting. That's all right, bro. I'm getting hungry, though, for real. <laughs> Feel free to take a seat. You sure you don't want any water, snacks, or anything? No, I think I'm okay. Okay. All right, that was good. That was good. Once we find out these shoes, you know, are legit, I'm gonna make sure to take care of you, okay? Because I, I think you're very beautiful. You have a great personality. Me personally, you know, I feel like you should be spoiling your girl. Just making sure she feels, you know, as comfy as possible. <laughs> But uh, would you like any wine or anything? I know it's you know it's a nice day out. You know you can relax, get comfy. I have to drive home. So I mean, you don't have to worry about driving home. We can have we can get an Uber for you. I could drive you home. It's no problem. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. okay. The moment Ooh, the truth okay. had finally arrived. All that Ajuna okay. had to do now was make his move. Have you ever had your hand lines red? No. Oh, you mind if I see your hands? Sure. What the hell wow. is that? This one says. You're gonna have a long, healthy life. <laughs> this one says... Bro, when guys be capping, bro, other guys know, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> have you ever had your hand lines red? Or, like, you know when the peak crystal happens, bro? This is... Like, bro, shut up, bro. You know you capping. That's not true, bro. I never even heard of that shit, bro. What the fuck? You ever had your hand lines red? No. Hmm. Maybe you should let me take you out to lunch. <laughs> How about we do uh, 1500 and I take you out to lunch? Um, you say you like the beach, right? I do. Okay, we could do 1500. We could go for a walk on the beach, lunch, something light. I could get to know you a little better. I mean, you've just been real cool. <laughs> real cool. I like you. No? Thank you. Why okay. Not? Oh. Oh, you like okay. Money? You're not hungry? Wait, hold up. Hold up, chat. Hold up, chat. Hold up, chat. I've done a lot of these, and I've never heard that phrase before. They don't even claim the significant other. She's claiming her significant other. Okay. That's a good step in the right direction. But I see motherfuckers fail even after they claim they significant other, so... You're not hungry? It's been a long day. You've been carrying them boxes up here. I de you deserve to like eat, you know, at least get something. Okay, thank you. You sure? Yeah. Your boyfriend doesn't even like you going on walks to the beach? Pretty girl like you? No, no. If he's not overprotective of you, he has no serious intentions for you, bro. Women think that men being controlling over them are telling them, hey, I don't want you going here because I know what's going to happen is controlling or insecure, bro. But really, it's because he has long term intentions for you. He doesn't want you to get compromised. Yeah, maybe not with other guys, though. Yeah, I mean, this is fun. business. You know, you just sold me shoes. Nah, We're just bro. celebrating. We're just nah. celebrating. Nah. That's nah. That's yeah, it's, it's different. Yep. Intimate. Exactly. I know you have a boyfriend, True. but it's just lunch. Nothing wrong with an innocent lunch. I don't think that's very appropriate. Damn, okay. He's staying loyal. Holy okay. God. He's low key kind of making it seem like it's just networking and business, and she's still saying no. You sure? Okay, we don't have to do lunch. No lunch. That's fine. How about you know we go out for a, a smoothie, you know something light. It doesn't have to be lunch. Talk business. Yeah. 
I appreciate that, but no, I can't. That's not okay. inappropriate. It's just a light snack. Okay. I can't. No. no, you don't feel like you should be exploring your options. Your boyfriend is the best you can do. A beautiful girl like you, and you feel like your boyfriend who had you carry those Yeezy up here is the best you can do. Yeah, he's pretty great. He's pretty great. Okay. No, no, no. he had you carrying shoes up here. W and I know girl. those are heavy. I seen you sweating a little bit when you came in here. No, I. Me personally, okay. I couldn't have my girl carrying them heavy boxes. She deserves a soft life. <laughs> you do have a soft okay. life. You do have a soft life. Okay. I would just love to get to know better. That's all. Just to know you a little better. W girl. When I see a girl like you, I just can't help but, you know, ask, you know, inquire. Mm hmm. But my money's upstairs. I'm going to go check it out real quick, get that for you. Don't worry about it. Make sure you get paid and everything. And at least marinate on it, you know. Because okay. you shouldn't let your boyfriend stop you from finding something, you know, live a life like this. It gets lonely over here, that's all, you know. I would love to have a woman like you around, make this house a home. <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. Oh, nah, bro. Oh, nah, bro. She said, I'll oh, think about it. Nah, she's not staying on business anymore, chat. What do you think's going to happen? Marinate on it, okay? I'll be back. Okay. Wait, did Yasmin really say she was about to think about it? She's doing so well. What is there to think about? Oh, damn. I think Yasmin turning down Ajuma may have caught him off guard and thrown him off. I mean, he kind of forgot that he was supposed to wait for Nathan and Kyle to come back in, verify the shoes, and then pay Yasmin. But I mean, hey, this kind of works out because Yasmin did say that she was going to think about it. Is she really going to think about it? Is she really about to change her mind? Damn. How are you interpreting this? Maybe keep on going because uh, she's declining everything he's given. Damn, I hate to take Yasmin's loyalty from her because she did a really, really good job, but that one line was just questionable. <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. I mean, maybe she didn't mean it though. Maybe she the laugh with her saying, I'll think about it, is I would consider flirtatious. I'm not saying she's, you know, showing infidelity, but it's definitely flirtatious. I don't know, man. She sounds like she's pretty legit. She's yeah. pretty strong, you know? What do you think when he goes back down, he tries one last and final time, maybe? Yeah, and then I think so. This. Oh, one more time? Yeah. You go for it? Yeah. I'm good for it, man. Let's do it. Y'all yeah. see what happens. Last time, and then if she says yeah, schedule out a date. But if she says no, don't be too pushy. Don't be too that. pushy? Yeah, okay. cool. Just try to hold her down there and stuff. Make some small talk about something else, okay? Okay. And we'll just ask him like what he wants to do if he wants to go downstairs and come clean or whatever. Okay, sounds good. All right, Ajuma, you got this. And so with that, Ajuma re-enters the scene to not only pay Jasmine, but to also see if she's had a change of heart. Hope I didn't leave you down here for too long. You okay? Yeah. Cool. Got your money. Everything's good, squared away. Let's see, one, two, three. Before asking her out again, Ajuma pays Yasmin with real hundreds straight from the ATM. He's gonna give her a little extra, but don't worry guys, we're not losing this money. She's supposed to give it all to her boyfriend anyways, right? 14, 1500. Here you go. 1500 for the shoes and one, two, three, four, Five. And here's 500. For what? Just for being you, the wonderful person that you are. Feel free to get like some clothes or anything. I can't it, it, no strings attached. Nothing like that. Nothing. Oh, nah, bro. She's loyal, loyal, bro. She's loyal, loyal. Okay. Okay, W girl. Like that. Just feel free to like, you know, girl, get your nails done, buy something nice. That's it. It's no strings attached. You sure? Yes, you're good. I appreciate oh, your company. Wait, hold up. I've had fun. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh. No problem. Oh. Gotta make sure everything's here. Oh, everything's there. Trust me, everything's there and more. So, so no problem. I appreciate it. And I'm still hungry, you sure? You don't wanna get some, just a little bite to eat, it's no problem. It's less snack, it's not a date date. It's just hanging out. but no, if you want, I can give you No, 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 no,
just to make sure everything Thank was you. okay. I really, really appreciate it, but I can't. Okay, cool, cool. No problem. W you girl! You're, you're into uh, traveling and everything, right? Is that it? All right, I don't think he's pushing her anymore. What did you think of that? I think she did good. Yeah, I, I think she did really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think she did really, really good. I'm proud of her. <laughs> she damn near passed with flying colors, bro. The only thing that was kind of iffy, bro, was when she said, I'll think about it. But she could have just been saying that to get him off her ass. So, I don't know. I'm going to Hawaii in December. Ooh, Hawaii. You really like the beach, huh? <laughs> You are a beach girl for sure. And so just like that, Yasmin chooses to remain extra loyal to her boyfriend. She has officially passed this test. They should okay. be here any minute now, so when they come back, you'll be free to go and... All right, so what do you want to do? Do you want to go downstairs and come clean, or do you want to take this to the grave? <laughs> no, not take it to the grave. I mean, I'll come clean. You want to come clean? But not today. Oh. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll come clean sooner or later. I'm sure she'll see my face on her. But I'm sure, yeah, I'll tell her, just not today. You don't want to tell her today? No, not Are today. Are you positive? Yeah, I feel, I think I'd look a lot of, look really dumb going downstairs right now. <laughs> no, but I'll you, definitely come clean. You sure you don't think it'd be a good idea to go downstairs right now? Just come clean, just like screw it? Nah. Yeah, not today. Yeah, she's no, probably going to get mad, bro. I ain't going to lie. Or how do you play She's going to think you don't trust Soon. her, bro. <laughs> how? I don't know. <laughs> That's yeah. everybody always thinks about like what they're gonna say if they fail. Yeah. But then, See, nobody ever thinks about like I what am I gonna I, say? I would have been, been ready. I would have been ready for that if she <laughs> fell. But like, no, let's go. But no, yeah. she she passed. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awkward now. Oh wait, is she failing? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I was like, wait, what, what are they talking about now? So David chooses to come clean, but not today. Which means that we had to play this entire thing off as if it were real. Okay. It was only like when I got to LA that. What's going on? Come on in. Yo, what's good? Good to see you again. We are good? Yeah, you're all set. You're all good. You're all real. See, I knew you would have lied to me. You better, you better cut me some of that cheese, all right? Don't worry about it. I'll take some... care of you. You know I'll take bet, care of you. We just need a cheese. little more warning next time. A little more warning. I got Thank you, all right? Y'all be safe, all right? Are you ready to eat, bro? Hell, honey. Well, seems everything's legit all good. Ah. Thank you so much again. No problem. Thank you for coming. I appreciate the shoes. So that's that. That's that. That is that. <laughs> Damn, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, I'm happy for you. Um, I'm happy for myself. Damn, she passed, bro. This is the first ever video that we've reacted to on the channel where she's passed. And I would say with damn near flying colors. The I'm going to think about it. I'm just going to cough it up to she was just saying that to get him off her ass. That's what I'm going to say, bro. And I really don't have that much to say. So I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one.